live in about a few more minutes, okay? I'm gonna set up my station here and, and then hold on for about a few minutes. I think I'm planning on bringing uh, my Brista Express on this corner this morning as well. So, let's see here. I'm gonna set it up here. Uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. cup machine to this side okay so we should be live in about another few more minutes there folks so I got my both machines here this morning So we are almost ready, folks. Okay. Let's see. Here we go. Good morning, everybody. Uh, let's see. How's the lighting? How's the lot lighting in there? Okay. So we're trying to get my lighting adjustment for a sec. Okay, we are almost ready. Man, the, I'm looking at the camera right now. Man, I got a huge, I got way too much shadow here. Not the shadow, but yeah, too much lighting. Hold on. Way too much. Let's see. Let's, I'm trying to play with some lights here right now. Okay, so lighting is bad. Hold on. We're gonna go live in about another few more minutes, so hold on. Going here, so you guys get to see the what's going on the behind the scene here. How I set up my my morning YouTube live show. It's not much though. Got I mean my current setup is very simple. I have the one light set up, and pretty much it. Okay, pretty much it. If you stay back further, you won't get that light. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold on a sec. The, okay, hold on a second here. I'm get the right lighting. Nope, still bad. Hold on. Is that is that a little better or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just have it go down lower. It's better. It's a little better there. Yeah, because I got the strong light comes in from the my window. Let's see here we go. Okay. I'm almost ready. Man, 
this sunlight is really, I mean, I can't even, it's, that's, I think that's a little better there. Okay. I know, I think I, I think we should get going, okay? I think I'm playing with camera too much, the lighting. Okay, hold on. So let's get going here. Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. Get my microphone on here. So by the way, if you guys are thinking about starting at your own YouTube channel, I mean, the setups are extremely simple, okay? Let me put the, I, I have this wire mic set up. So hello and welcome back. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, my name is Hun. So my channel is pretty much about making coffee, okay? I'm trying to make better coffee at home. So, so yesterday, actually about two days ago, I roast some Ethiopia beans from work. So this, uh, so yesterday I dialed in once before, and the today, so this is the second day of dialing in. So, uh, smells better than yesterday though, okay, much better than yesterday. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dial in, uh, let's find out what's the different taste from yesterday because yesterday wasn't that great. Okay, there's some uh, still bitter as well and hopefully You know, it's gonna be today's more, you know, I guess more mature beans. I guess ideally I like to start drinking Kind of like day three and on okay, but today's day two. So let's find out And I like to usually dose out about 18 gram at a time for my uh, Ranch Leo Serbia here. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. So I usually do 18 gram. So I prefer medium roast. So it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Hopefully it's gonna be good. And it comes the grinder setting. I did it yesterday around 12, but I think I'm going to increase to maybe number 13 or 14, okay? I'm going to try that first. Here we go. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna shout out to Dan. Dan sent me a quick email yesterday. Uh, so, so he sent me the link from Amazon. <clears throat> this is like tiny device, okay? Has a rubber on the bottom and that, that fits right on the top. So I don't have to like tap it anymore. So this kind of like, I don't know what's the name of it, but you can actually kind of like create a vacuum seal. So I think I'm planning on getting one of those. I think it looks really nice. I mean, it's gonna be works great. Okay, meantime, I'm gonna hit up my shot glass there. Make sure you are using Ranchulia Sylvia at home. You always have to check your water level, okay? Not like Brista Express. Brista Express, you can see from outside how much water you have. But with the Ranchulia uh, Sylvia, yep. I mean, you need to check your water constantly. If not, you are going to burn out your uh, boiler, okay? So that's the, I mean, that's, I highly recommend it to check your water level all the time. Okay, I'm just gonna get some water from my refrigerator here. I'm gonna fill it up. Mike says, those guys that 
it said third wave water is bad or full of beans. Full of what? Beans. Beans. Okay. okay. So, by the way, so I don't know, some of you saw my video last night about the third wave water. And I'm still going to hear from, I'm hoping to hear from third wave water, but I think one of my viewers mentioned to me that it's better to contact the uh, Rancherio directly, okay? Because, you know, so we, we are going to get the right information from the, the Rancherio, actually Rancherio make the machine, so they know the best, you know, what they are used. I mean, I mean, better to use, let's put it that way. Uh, by the way, uh, I think Eduardo mentioned to me yesterday, uh, Eduardo has, uh, he just bought the Lydia Mini. Uh, even Lam Marzacco says they recommend you know, him to use the third wave water. So I know someone has the right answer for it. I mean, I don't. So if anybody out there, the answer to the actually the third wave water or kind of like people using reverse osmosis with like you know mixing some mineral back into it so let me know if you guys you know if anyone has the right answer you contacted bravo right uh, i did i have not contacted bravo yet okay so that's my next step okay all right so i got my rensselio Serbia here Okay. Okay, so let's pull the shot. So this is day, so this is two days old coffee beans. Okay. Let's take a look. What kind of shot we're gonna get here? So this is day two. Because I know, you know, I always mention. It is, you know, better to use fresh coffee beans, but I'm looking for around like 36 gram. Okay, 32 seconds. Man, talking about crema is a lot more than yesterday. So I bet you even tomorrow, it's gonna be even better, okay? It's gonna be even better tomorrow. So, hold on. So let's try that. I felt like they're slightly over extracted, okay? Because they're slightly over extracted. Smells really good. I bet you today, uh, tomorrow should be, I think that's tomorrow should be good. So I'm just gonna stir it. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, still, Still a little, little bitter as well, okay? Still a little bitter, but I think by tomorrow it's gonna be just right. So, I, I mean, I think tomorrow morning, I think I'm gonna dial it in properly. So I think I have about three more serving left. So I'm not gonna waste that today, but definitely I'm gonna be using that. We are, we are going to dial in tomorrow morning, okay? And properly, and just get the right, kind of like right tasting notes. So, so let's see what happens there tomorrow morning. But meantime, you know what? Since I have a two machine right now, and uh, I think I'm gonna make some, uh, you know, I haven't made latte in a while, so let's make some latte this morning, okay? Uh, any questions so far? Yeah, do you still enjoy Lavazza coffee? Uh, someone asked me, do I still enjoy Lavazza coffee? Okay, so I've been spoiled, okay? Ever since I roasting my, uh, at home, and also I've been kind of roasting like freshly roast coffee beans, coffee beans from other vendors. Uh, I haven't go back, gone back to Lavacha yet. And the fact is Lavacha is very, very good for the entry level people. You know, I mean, entry level people like us start to learn how to use the machine and learn how to dial in coffee beans. But once you're getting into like, you know, freshly roast coffee, 
you are going to tell the difference there. Okay, you are going to tell the different difference in taste and the, the not not the quality, but yes, the quality as well. And but if you are uh, if you are using it as like milk based drink, Levacho is fantastic. Okay, but if you like to drink espresso or like americano or long black, you are going to tell the big difference in that drink, that recipe. Okay, because huge, huge difference. <clears throat> All right, so I think this morning I'm gonna be using. I got some. I just opened up the bag from Good Brothers Coffee, so I think I'm gonna use uh, my Bravo Barista Express for the this coffee beans. Okay. Okay, so uh, Eduardo, I'm going to put the link down below, okay? I got that link from Dan, okay? If Dan watching this, uh, thank you for the link. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going <clears> to <throat> dial in. So, this is brand new coffee beans from Good Brothers there, so. I mean, as you can see, it's definitely medium. I think I feel like I slightly over-roasted yesterday or the other day, so. I mean, if you guys like a little darker, I think mine is more like medium to dark. Okay, for this one, I'm going to be using my dosing. Okay, so I'm going to be using, with my Bravo Barista Express. Okay, so this one from yesterday, by the way. Okay, hold on. So this one, I prefer around 17.5 gram or so, maybe 17 gram. Okay. And then... Someone asked me, where can I get a green beans? Uh, goodness, you can get a green beans from obviously Amazon, but uh, Sweet Maria has fantastic green beans there. I think most people go to Sweet Maria. Um, you know, they do really high quality coffee beans. Okay. For this, so if you are brand new to the Brisa Express, uh, I do single dosing, okay? So I only, uh, grind the, you know, grind my coffee beans like single dose at a time. But what I'm gonna, watch this. Even though it's single dosing, if I'm gonna pump it like this, we see that beans from yesterday. So. Okay. Uh, comes the grinder size, I said at number seven. Okay. My number one question from my viewers, what's the best grinder size? The problem is I don't have the right answer for you. Okay, so I put 17.5 gram in it. I got about 17.17 .17 gram out, okay? But watch this. If I'm gonna pop it in, I'm gonna pump it a few more times, okay? And then, now I got the 17.5 gram, so. This is not a zero retention coffee grinder, okay? But sometimes I, I try to be act like one, but it's not, okay? This is not. So, I mean, if you guys want like true, you know, truly, you know, zero dosing coffee grinder, uh, zero retention, obviously we got niche grinder out there, but, you know, I mean, that's, I mean, you have, you know, you have to willing to spend some money on it, so. Okay. Um, on the Be More Roaster, can you choose levels? Does it have a way, a mechanism to choose levels of roast? Oh, because someone asked me about the Be More Coffee Roaster. Yes, yes, you can. I mean, the Be More it has a couple different programs, but like my Be More, I mean, mine is like about 10 years old, so mine does not, so I have to kind of like go by the smell and sound, but. Yeah, I mean the newer be more you can actually choose a pre-program mode. So yes, yes you can. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my 
make you guys a latte here this morning. More like cappuccino. I'm just gonna flush out the, again, my coffee cup here. So great thing about the Brista Express, I mean, I don't have to worry about temperature surfing or, so easy to work with. All right. So I'm gonna do the same as the other shots. So I'm trying to shrink for around like 35 grams. So I got 17.5 grams, so maybe 35 to 40 gram <clears throat> EO for this one. Okay, so let's take a look at the, what kind of shot we're gonna get for first try here. I'm doing the manual mode. Okay, I usually go, my motion get best result from around one o'clock pressure there. Okay, 30, uh, let, let's go for 40 gram. There we go, that's fine. 43 gram, around 28 seconds. Yeah, I think that's, that, that's not bad, okay. I mean, it looks pretty good. Okay, so meantime, I'm gonna get my milk ready here. So I've been enjoying, it's called A2 milk. I think uh, Dylan mentioned to me last week, it's called A2 milk. I think if you have, you know, I think this is supposedly very creamy and better for your body. So I've been really enjoying it so far. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it a little bit. So let's do some, steam some milk. Okay. So it's going to take a little bit to warm that because I just start that machine, so. Somebody asked why it looked watery at the end. Okay, here we go. So right now I'm introducing some, uh, introducing some air right now, so make that fluffy. About like five to ten seconds there, and then I submerge it to heat up the milk. Okay. Let's see here. Hopefully I can, sh let's see. I, I wonder if I can show you guys the different angle there. Hold on a second, let me flip the camera here. Hold on. Remove the camera by one hand. Here we go. That's it. So this is kind of like what I do, how I s steam the milk. Okay, hold on a second. My milk is ready. Hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so you want to be milk, uh, kind of like wet paint. Like so. So let's do, do some quick latte art here. Okay. Yeah, it smells really good, okay. I, I have to say, if you haven't tried the A2 milk, goodness. So this is, uh, this is 2% too. It's not a whole milk. So, go, hold on, let's see here. Something like this. Actually looks really good. My son just shows up just in time for just in time for latte there, okay? Hold on. Hold on, oh, Ethan, my younger son is right behind the camera and go through the back there, hold on a second here. So this is what happens when you are making YouTube videos 
middle of your kitchen, but okay. I mean, this this latte art is actually quite nice. Okay, really nice. So what I'm gonna do is, by the way, make sure you gotta clean that steam one right away. If not, it's gonna be hard to clean. So what I like to do is I like to use my paper towel, and then just wipe down clean as well and then just flush it okay like this up again the the latte looks fantastic this morning I'm just gonna try for a little bit try my latte okay there we go okay cheers everybody Man, this. I don't know if you guys like to drink latte, just plain latte, or you guys like to mix with like caramel or like some kind of sweetener. It's, I mean, personally, okay, I, I prefer like pump of caramel. I don't know about you guys, but I like to just put maybe one or two. And then just bring out the even more sweetness. It's really good. Okay, I'm just gonna rest of them to my son here. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so any questions about comments or question about Brista Express or Renchula Sylvia since I have the booth, booth machine on the counter here? Okay. Any hints for roasting beans rotisserie style on a Weber kettle? A Weber kettle. Someone mentioned about the roasting coffee beans on Weber kettle. Yeah. Uh, good. Maybe uh, Weber grill rotisserie the, style. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. By the way, so yes, I think someone mentioned about the. I know my buddy did it. Okay, so you can get a Weber grill with the rotisserie, and you can get a drum set inside inside the drum. Yes, yeah, so you, you can do that as well, okay? But just make sure, uh, make sure watch out for that first crack, the sound of the noise. So that's the when, you know, when you need to stop roasting it. But yes, you can do that as well, definitely. I think they have a couple of videos on YouTube. Make sure to check it out, okay? But yes. Do you I'm, have any tips on how to get rid of large bubbles in the crema? Someone asked me about the, how to get rid of Get how to get rid of larger bubble on crema. Uh, make sure you have, uh, make sure you use the freshly roasted coffee beans, and then the play with the dosing amounts as well. I mean, someone uh, just mentioned to me this shot. I just pull in the end, kind of like watery there. Okay, uh, that's definitely due to the, my dosing amounts. Okay, so I just got this basket from uh, AliExpress. Okay. So this is, I mean, this one put 18 gram very, very comfortably. So I only put 17.5 gram in it. If I put 18 gram in it, and then the shot is going to be even better looking. Okay, it's gonna be a better shot. So maybe, you know what, maybe I should do that. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fill, I'm gonna fill it with like 18 gram, okay? I'm gonna do that for you. So you guys are going to see the difference in a, uh, in a little bit. Uh, so someone asked me about my meat right grinder. I believe that's you can I think a 40 gram is the maximum. I think I think it's 40 gram uh, Correct me. I'm wrong guys because I Think it's all around 40 gram there So so that's great for single uh, single dose a single serving of coffee uh, If you go with to like some other coffee grinder a hand grinder you can go after like, you know 40 or 50 gram, but I think this one you can go after like 40. I grind with a Breville Smart Grinder Pro. Someone, someone has a question about the Smart Grinder Pro. What's the question? I use Starbucks beans. Okay. It needs 15.6 seconds to grind 16 grams. But if I use single origin fresh beans, then the grind time is only 36 se seconds for the same 16 grams. Why? Okay, someone asked me about the. Uh, okay, with the with the grind. Fresh beans. Fresh sec or fresh beans? What? How many seconds left? Three seconds left. 
Three seconds, three seconds left. Uh, is the beans, okay? Is the, the depending on the, what kind of beans you are using, you're gonna change the grinder time. So let's put it that way. So I think a rule of thumb is with my niche grinder, a, about second for gram, okay? If you get like one of those fancy coffee, uh, coffee grinder, I mean, a couple of seconds at the most. I know Marconi, the EK43, man, they're like two, three seconds for like 20 gram. So all depend on the, your grind, uh, coffee grinder, and what kind of beans you are using as well. Lisa is drinking, I just noticed this, mm -hmm. and I think this is really Lisa. different. An iced white chocolate blackberry mocha. So Lisa, shout out to Lisa. She's drinking ice, ice white, white, chocolate. Mo white chocolate mocha with blackberry mocha. Blackberry mocha. Wow, that sounds very sounds very decadent, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Okay, very very decadent. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put another shot with this basket. You know what? Let's do bottomless. Okay, let's do that bottomless porta filter. So this, today is obviously today is fr uh, Saturday. I usually bring it out my bottomless port filter maybe a couple times a week. So I'm gonna do that for you this morning. So I'm just gonna. Eduardo wants to know how much you need to spend to buy a coffee roasting machine, a new one. So Ed, 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 Eduardo mentioned about the the cost of. Okay, comes the coffee roaster. My personal favorite is the Beemore, okay? Beemore is fantastic entry level uh, for the money. I think that's the best one out there. Uh, I think the, I think, uh, Dane, is Dane on this morning? Mm -hmm. uh, Dane has, I know Dane just got the Beemore 2200, so that's the latest coffee machine the Beemores offer. I believe it's around 400 bucks or four or 450. So, I mean, he spent about four, 450 you can get a really nice uh, coffee roaster. I know they have uh, other ones out there, but again, the Beemore is my, it's not the prettiest, but it does a fantastic job, okay? But if you're planning on spending like, you know, a couple of grand on it, man, you can get a really nice ones. I mean, you can go with like, you know, commercial quality one for like around 2,000 or 3,000. Okay, what else? Okay, so I'm so this morning I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be dosing out 18 gram. Okay, I'm gonna put 18 gram on filter baskets. So, okay, here we go. Okay, where is my beans? And um, a viewer said you helped them solve an issue in pressure, mm -hmm. low pressure last night. They need to use the finest grind setting. Do I need to change my burr? Oh, someone asked me about the, should I, it's time to change my inner burr. I mean, if you're out of space on the top, yes. You, want, you might want to, you definitely want to change your inner burr to, if you have a five, go down to maybe even three. Definitely, yeah, you might want to do that. Okay, I got 18 gram here, 18.1 gram. Okay, let's find out how many gram we're gonna get out of it. Make sure I get all the coffee, yeah. coffee beans out. So I got, I got 18.1 in, I got 18 gram out. So this is an 18 gram right here. Okay. So I'm going to use, so this is also filter basket from China as well. Uh, AliExpress, I think, I mean, this is also one of uh, my recommendation, for, one of recommendation for one of my viewer about a couple months ago or so. Yeah. What works pretty good, okay, I have to say. Okay, so from here. I mean, having that dosing cup, I mean, if you want to be like precise, okay, if you want to measure up precise, the measurement, I use the dosing cup. And if I don't care about it, I use the dosing funnel. So it all depends on what you guys like. And I know some of you out there likes to be really precise, so it's nice to have options. 
Okay. All right, at this point, I'm going to pull the shot. Okay, I'm going to clean up my station. Okay. I'm going to lock it in. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you guys the the view of the bottomless portafilter filter there, okay? The reason why people buy it, I mean, I mean, first of all, it's great to kind of like learn your shot, okay? If your shot, you know, if your shot is like, you know, what I'm trying to say, if your shot, if your grinder has a channeling issues or make sure you distribute it correctly, that shows you that all the imperfection there. So, Hopefully you guys can see that from this angle. Yep, this is good. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do a little longer infusion this time, okay? Maybe I'm gonna do about 15 second pre-infusion. You see the channeling as well. A little bit of channeling, it's not too bad. I got some channeling there. I got 48 grams in like 26 seconds. So, hold on, let's take a look there. I mean, the shot looks, I thought shot was a little fast, but Let's find out, okay? Let's find out the taste. Do, do you see that? <clears throat> Someone asked me earlier about the bubble. I mean, you see the bubble on the top, okay? So, I thought this, I thought shot was a little fast, which means I have to change my grinder size to a little finer. So right now I'm in number seven. If I go down to number six, I think we're gonna get a better shot there. But let's find out. Cheers. Yeah, so this is sour, okay? Yes, yeah, definitely they're under extracted. So, so this is kind of like how I dialed in coffee, you know, once in a while, especially new coffee beans, because you have to play with it. And plus the temperature wasn't that hot enough too. So, I mean, if I'm gonna dive in one more time, maybe I'm gonna start with I'm going to change the temperature to maybe like plus two, okay? Plus two, plus, uh, yeah, maybe like plus two because I, I, I like them a little bit more hotter, so. Any, yeah, yeah we, got, we got some questions. Did Go. you ever try a spritz of water on your beans prior to grinding? Someone asked me about, uh, do I use the, the RDT method? No, you know what? I tried it and, I'm okay, people loves it, but personally, I'm not that crazy about it, okay? Especially with uh, br uh, Bravo, because I don't want to put any kind of you know, liquid inside. Those, uh, they're metal, okay? It's not like titanium coated, anything like that. So, you know, I do worry about the rust. So, and plus I don't want to be sticky either. And uh, niche grinder, same thing. So that, that's the reason why I like to use the dosing cup instead. So with the dosing cup, you know, I don't have to too much worry about, you know, the flying everywhere, so. Okay. What kind of cup do you recommend for latte art? Somebody asked me what kind of cup do I recommend for latte art? Okay, I am big fan of not neutral. So, my big fan of lot not neutral Acme cups and then and then fellow or Monte uh, latte cup as well, the latte mug. So, because the reason is the how they designed it. Oh, hold on, maybe I, I maybe I can show you guys. So design this, so inside is like very smooth, okay? So kind of like, kind of, kind of like this. So whenever you pull the milk, it doesn't distribute and disturb the milk there. So it's nicely, and plus, they give you a very uh, different size. So this is an eight ounce cup. And then, let's say this is an espresso, that's the three ounce cup. So give you just enough 
coffee and milk combination so you don't have to think about it. And whenever you're using the big mug from your house, something like this. So this is more like what, 12 ounce cup. So, you know, if you like a lot of milk, great, but I guess I like to have different ratio. So cappuccino, I like to do maybe like one part espresso and two part milk. A cup like this actually help you, you know, kind of like easier to measure that for you. So what's the code I'm going to put it down there for not neutral? So by the way, so not neutral give you guys a 15% off. Okay. By the way, there's no kickback from not neutral. So I'm not, you know, I'm not a sponsor guy from not neutral. I just like the cups and uh, I'm going to put the coupon code on the description after this video. So make sure to try it out. Okay. Have you ever tried rainbow latte art where you put a couple of drops of food coloring in the milk before pouring? Uh, Dana, cool. Dana asking me, have I tried latte art with the food coloring? It's called rainbow latte art. No, I have not, okay? By the way, I, I watch a lot of kind of Instagram, the latte videos. I'm trying to learn how to do stuff. Man, those guys are, okay, I'm here, okay? Those guys are up here. I mean, we are in completely different level. Because I know a lot of you out there wants to learn how to do good latte art. The fact is, I mean, those baristas, they pour milk every single day, okay? 50 to 100 times per day. I mean, I do maybe twice, okay? I make two latte in the morning for my family. That's it. So, I mean, you know, sometimes we have to kind of like, you know, give ourselves a break that, I mean, again, I want to be like those guys, you know, beautiful latte art artist, but as long as your coffee tastes good, I think that's all that matters. But sometimes you have to give ourselves a little break there, okay? Because we cannot compare with those guys. So, what else? Um, how to know what is the max dose for my basket? How to know, okay, someone asking about the max dose for your basket for obvious, maybe you have Brista Express. All depend on the what kind of beans you are using, okay? If you are using the lighter roast, your max can be 17 gram, okay? 18 gram at the most. And if you are using, uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Let's go the other way. If you, have, if you are using lighter roast, your max can be 19 or 20. But if you are using lighter roast, your max can be 17 or 16 or 17. Because the lighter roast is lighter and so you can uh, I think I'm right about that one. So if you're darker the roaster, you are you are going to put less coffees in. I mean, someone uh, someone out there, if I'm wrong, please let me know in the comment section. But okay, you just has to play with your filter baskets. Um, okay. Okay. What else? So um, somebody says. Mm -hmm. let's see. Ask you so, about why don't you own a prosumer espresso machine yet? Come on, who is it the price? Someone, someone asking Casey asking me why don't I own a prosumer? I know I think Rancho Silvia is considered as a prosumer, don't you think? Okay, I think they are considered as a prosumer coffee machine. Okay, espresso machine for Rancho Silvia, and then uh, obviously, oh, Brisa Express. People think that this is the consumer machine. You might be right, but you know what? If I'm going to choose between Brista Express versus Rensselaer right now, okay, right now, not for me, for our family, I go with the Bravo. I go with the Bravo. So much convenient comes to making milk-based drink. And if you don't care about that, if you're a single person out there, or if your family only cares about espresso, I mean, Rensselaer is the way to go, but Again, if your family likes milk-based drink, if you want to spend, you know, under a thousand bucks, probably is the way to go. So a viewer asked, why do I feel my steam wand from the steam is getting weaker? Is it because of the age of the machine and I just cleaned my wand tip? Okay, someone asked me about the steam wand, the pressure, okay? And I don't know how long you had it, but I wonder... I wonder you need to replace the pump, okay? Because if you have a weak pump, you're gonna get a weak uh, steam. The actually, uh, maybe it might be the pump or 
I'm not sure, okay? I don't know the answer for that one. That's, that's a little tricky. Yeah. I have to look into it. Um, I always dose 17 grams in, dial in to good range to just after 1 o'clock on the pressure dial, but I get 50 grams out. How can you reduce this? Or is it a case of changing the programming? Okay, so, okay, so someone asked me, just you have the good pressure and good dosing amount, but you, you got a 50 gram, okay. So that's why I'm always use the program mode instead of not the, not the program, the manual mode over program mode. The program mode, it means you can set your time. Okay. So they're all time based. So that's why I do not trust the program mode because I get an inconsistent, inconsistent shot every time. So I always use a manual mode. That's why I use a scale. Okay. So, so whenever I got the right desirable, amount there I stop manually so uh, if you haven't tried manual mode definitely try one we'll try next time um, George asks have you found that the the basket from China is harder to pull out of the Breville portafilter? filter okay so George asking me about the filter basket from China you know what let's find that for you George hold on so yes answer is yes so, okay, from here, I'm trying to go to knock box. You see that's still messy. So that's every time I use the filter basket in China, it's a little messier than a uh, rubber uh, uh, basket, okay? Rubber baskets comes out really nicely. But with this basket, no. But it seems like basket from China flows better though, okay? I wonder that's my imagination, but yeah, flows a little better than uh, default baskets. Someone asked me, what causes the uh, top of your pore filter? The one that you pull the shot, you kind of somewhat worry. Could be your beans, okay? Could be your beans, could be your dosing amounts. Uh, there are a number of reasons, so again, play with it play with the dosing amounts there and see but it's most likely the the you know, coffee beans too so Linda asked what does it mean when the puck is really stuck in the portafilter yesterday's pools were all stuck so Linda asking me about the your shot was you know port the puck was stuck in there ah that's a great question because what Braver does they're using the three-way uh, solenoid so so after you pull the shot and uh, kind of like they they actually suck the water out from the uh, what's that called from your pore filter, so make the your puck a little drier. And if you haven't done back flush in a while, try the back flush, okay, and then see what happens there. And also, whenever I use like darker roast coffee, same thing. So medium roast coffee not as bad, but whenever I use the darker roast coffee, I mean my pucks get really stuck. So. Somebody asked, why didn't you use the niche zero instead of the Breville? Someone asked me, why, why didn't I, how come I didn't use the niche for, because, you know what, the fact is, a lot of people ask me that. So whenever I use my Rensselaer, I always use match with my niche grinder. And then whenever I use my Bravo, I always use the built-in grinder because most of you, you don't have niche grinder. So the fact is, whenever I do, you know, whenever I try to make videos, because I want to relate to you guys the same information. So I like to compare Apple to Apple. So hopefully you guys are going to try at your home. So, you know, ho hopefully, you know, again, we want to make better coffee. Obviously, niche is better than built-in grinder. So obviously, you're going to get a better coffee with niche. But you know what? I want to make better coffee with built-in grinder. So that's why. Justin says it's the other way around. Light roasts tend to be heavier and dark roasts are lighter. Yes, yeah, so Justin's right. So light roast is definitely heavier, okay? Because it has more moisture in it. So darker roast is not a lot lighter because you, you know, dry out all the moisture. That's why. So thank you, Justin. <clears throat> um, J Jamin, oh, he said yeah. dual boiler or heat exchange machine equals prosumer. Okay, so someone asking about the... Uh, no. Damon said dual boiler Damon. or 
heat exchange machine equals prosumer. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, what else? Let's see. I'm just going to clean up my... My pour filter here. I can, I can make any coffee, hot or cold beverages, but I couldn't make it better. Better latte art. Why? Someone asking me about how can I... The, the latte art, again, back to latte art. That's... I mean, that's... That's hard, okay, guys? The, doing latte art is not easy. So, I mean, I know a lot of you out there want to be a good latte artist. I mean, I've been trying for the last two years, okay? I've been playing with the latte art for the last two years. And so you have to have a good milk. Start with you have to have a good steam milk first. And then you have to learn how to pour. I, I watch hundreds of different type of latte art video that look so easy, but once you do it, you know, it's not, it's, it's not easy, okay? So, you know, I think you should give yourself a little break there, okay? Um, trying to, you know, trying to make, yeah, I mean, you're going to get there, but not today or tomorrow. And Gary, uh, he must not have heard the answer. What causes water on top of my pour filter when I pull a shot? Okay, so I think uh, back to Gary. Gary asked me why you have water on the top. Uh, could be the, your dosing amounts, could be your grinder size could be the what type of beans you have so it's all various reasons so again i mean as long as your coffee tastes good i mean who cares about what your puck look, looks like so some, sometimes you are worried about the the look of the coffee just go by your trust your taste okay make sure you trust your taste i think we are good i think we are good for this morning my wife is going through the, all your questions there, so I hope I hope I answered you guys all the questions you guys. Oh, Justin you guys. said, when are you starting a roasting company? Justin asked me, when do I start my own roasting company? Uh, you know, I, I okay. My plan is my goal. Okay, my down the road. Okay, my down the road. Not now. Maybe hopefully next five years or so. I love to set up a kind of like coffee studio, the real coffee studio with kind of like half uh, roaster, uh, roasting place, and the other half is kind of like coffee lab. And uh, you know, try out, I mean, you guys can come over for coffee for free of charge, okay, for you guys, free of charge. And they just hang out, you know, and that, that's the goal. That's my kind of like dream place I have in mind. So maybe someday, but yeah. So that's the way I'm gonna start roasting my own coffee beans and so that's why I'm trying to find out, okay, hope my this year goal is I'm going to find the right method and the right coffee beans to make a great coffee. So far, I'm very close, okay, but I have not found that coffee yet. So I try a number of coffees out there, but yeah, my goal is uh, hopefully we, we are going to find the, the perfect cup of coffee. So that's, that's what I'm trying to shoot for this year. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and let's see, make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. I do a lot of kind of like behind the scene videos and you know, a couple recipes and it's a lot of, I do a lot of interviews, you know, talk with, you know, you guys one-on-one. -on -one, so that's a lot of fun there as well. And see you guys. Okay. So tomorrow morning. Okay. So we are going to dial in uh, Ethiopia beans one more time tomorrow morning. So that's day three. So it's going to be. I think that's just right about time to start drinking the coffee. So we are going to, we are going to do that. And I got some big plan, plans for us next week as well. So, all right. See you guys next time. Are you doing a, 